Good evening people and welcome back to the channel and to this video where I have Generations Titans Return Cassette Bots uh, or Cassette Robots traditionally uh, known as mini cassettes because that's what they were when they came out uh, in uh, Generation 1 uh, the, the mini cassettes that fit in uh, the appropriate tape decks what is it about you know these uh, these cassette bots or uh, that uh, you know that I like so much. I really you know am fond of them. Uh, you know here we have the the uh, humanoid mold, or I guess the rumble mold would be the first of that uh, character uh, that came out. This is the laser beak mold, and here we have the ravage mold. Um, of course, in these characters, it's rewind, buzzsaw, and stripes. I don't really know who that is. I really wish they. Uh, they made that uh, Steel Jaw, which I, I much rather see Steel Jaw as a character because he was much more portrayed. Uh, but you know, that's what we got stripes. Um, you know, I I think uh, personally, I I liked the cassettes because they were objects. I, I always liked object formers. They just had this, I guess, more of a, a real world robots in disguise. You could put uh, you know a, a real looking object on your table on your desk, uh, and it would be in disguise. I also really like the integration, you know, Soundwave being the first, uh, 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 I guess, master of cassettes. Um, you could put the cassettes into his chest, or at least one, uh, and later on two when they expanded the case. Uh, and, and, you know, it would be in a box uh, all in one, you know, with Soundwave and two or one, at least one other character right there. Uh, and you know, and and I I always liked getting the cassettes and the Soundwave blasters that came out. You know, I, I did that blaster video, and I showed no less than three, um, you know, versions of blaster. And I have even more versions of Soundwave than that because I got both the uh, Generations uh, War for Cybertron and Fall of Cybertron figures, which I also like. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, to, to show you these cassettes and also to compare them and then maybe come to a conclusion as to which one I like most. Um, so what we have here is the Rewind uh, or the Rumble mode. Uh, these are obviously not cassettes, but they're like kind of PDAs, I think they say, or, or phones. Uh, I, don't, I don't really understand what this is supposed to be because it looks like it's got a cassette there. Uh, but you know, at the same time, it's got a headphone jack. They all had headphone jacks, um, you know, and and I guess ostensibly they're either phones or PDAs. Um, I think of these ones, uh, I, I I do like uh, that as a balance. But overall, the front of this particular mall pulls it off best. I think as a uh, you know kind of trying to be a PDA. On the back, however. Um, you know, I think the rumble mode uh, hides it a lot better. It's a lot more clean. Uh, this one's in between, and this one is the worst, where you can see the two, you know, the, the aircraft head and the, uh, the the Jaguar head there. Okay, so which one's the best? Well, make up your mind. I, I can't really pick. I think that's a, that would be the in-between compromise of reasonable front, reasonable back. Uh, this one would have the best back, I think. Um, okay, so let's uh, take a look at transformation. I'll look at the figurine mold. Now, just a word of warning, remember to take out the weapon that's stored on the side because if you try to fold that, you will potentially damage the weapon. Um, put those aside. So transform this guy into the, the humanoid mold. What you want to do is to separate out um, the arms. And then what you can do is fold up, fold the arms up this side here is quite stiff actually but you know you can get it around there okay so that's the the arm the forearm and then you separate out the the shoulders and turn it there and that's your your fist there uh, or that's the that's the back I should turn it to the front okay and for the legs what you do is just fold out the legs like that Turn it towards the front and then fold out the feet. And there we have it. You know, I think I, I, I really like this actually. This is uh, fold out the chest and then flip the head up, and that's the completion. And, and particularly rewind. And rewinds just become such a mainstream, you know, 
up in front character with IDW and I really like this sculpt where they you know they included that that little camera that he has uh, in IDW okay so that's the the humanoid mold um, uh, the, the gun fits in there I won't put it in there because we're really going to be transforming him again all right the the laser beak mold to transform uh, laser beak what you want to do is to fold out the wings first okay fold down the legs and then uh, really for the back you kind of just do do that flip you know flip that part up and then flip the kind of tail feathers or whatever you want to call that back open up the the wing flaps and what I like to do is just turn these up slightly and then lastly of course head reveal flip the head up and bend it at the neck to get that position roughly and that's your kind of laser beak type of mold not bad you know I think it, it, it could be worse and I, I think this is, has a lot of homage to the original uh, bird cassette mold uh, so I, I, I don't mind that too much actually I, you know there's been a lot of criticism but I, I don't I don't mind him too much okay now the the jaguar or the tiger or the lion whatever you call uh, to transform this guy you flip the you have to flip the uh, the, the wings or the the flaps uh, all the way up okay and then what I like to do is to flip the the front feet out like that uh, and then what what you can do then is uh, release the back feet from the tabs there you can see uh, not sure that's easy to see but the, the, the feet tabs into a tab at the side of the body right flip that open open and then flip the back feet into position Right, for the front, uh, it's a little bit tricky, but what you want to do is rotate the shoulder all the way down. Right, and then the mid body, there's a bit of a bend there. And then flip the head out. Right, get the feet into position. And there we have it in the, in the uh, uh, jaguar or tiger or lion pose, I suppose stripes. Is supposed to be a tiger what else can you call well why else would you call a figure stripes it, it would be a tiger I think so there we have the the figures there I think I think this is clearly the weakest I you know I think it's, it's not too bad but uh, in a lot of angles it really it, it does it's quite gappy and uh, and and I think it's the weakest you know he, he, he poses not bad for a four you know, four-legged creature, a quadruped, but but it it you know I think there's a lot of uh, shortcomings of that. But this one I think would be the second best. Um, you know, you can't really do too much of it, and the wings do look a bit uh, awkward. Some people fold that out. I don't think you know like like this. Oh, sorry, that's come out like that. I, I don't think that looks great. So I prefer it to be in the original position. Um, uh, the the official position I guess you can call it, um, and then this one I think clearly wins it out. You know, it's a poseable little man, and and it looks it looks good. You know, it looks good from the back even. So I think this is a clear winner in terms of the uh, the uh, normal uh, I guess robot mode you can call it. Uh, in this case, humanoid and obviously animals. All right, and then to move on. Uh, they have a third mode, so let's take a look at that. Um, so to put them into tank mode, this guy, I'm just going to fold, uh, fold the feet up. Okay, Ooh, a little bit tough there, but you just fold the feet up into near the the original position, and you can see the tank treads to the side there. Now for the head, what you want to do is open the chest, put the head back in, and then this bit, you should put the shoulders facing backwards I flip the hands in already and then rotate so that you can get that down and then there's little tabs on the side there you can see where this will tab in and this is your you know it just looks like a funny vehicle but you know this completes it so you stick the gun in between there and there you have a 
cute little tank. All right, stripes or ravage turns into a plane. Um, so what you want to do to transform him is to firstly get well get the the front out of the way, and that by that I mean you fold it to disposition. So get the shoulders out of the way, and then you can see there's a little tab there that tabs into the main body there, and that holds it in this position. Fold the feet down, and then get rid of the head. All right, and that's the back of the plane. Now, some people, or officially, I think they have the the paw facing a bit up. I, 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 you know, I don't mind. I just put it down like that. Okay, the rest of the figure. What you want to do is fold the fold the uh, back feet up and then put it into the body and what you can do is then tab the feet into the the part where they tab in into the main body like this so that's how it looks like get that back into position and then fold the wings into the wing position and, and by that you, there's, a, there's a double uh, I guess a bit here that sits above that stripey bit and holds the wing out under 90 degree and then lastly, of course, flip the, the plain nose out. And that's, that's ostensibly your plane, which is an odd looking plane, to be honest. You know, there's no, uh, I think this doesn't look functional either, actually. There's no plane that looks like that, and it also doesn't look like it will really function as a plane. Okay, laser beak mold uh, becomes a construction vehicle I guess I don't know what it is actually but we'll show you so what you do is flip the wings in and then get the wheels out which is here that's a bit tricky but what you want to do is rotate that piece out uh, there and same at this side you want to just, just get that work that that wheel out like that okay and then to get it ready to to go into position you rotate it uh, into into that position where it will fold into the body and the the feet can stay there and the head can flip in all the way just like that and then this bit uh, is kind of interesting that they've created a bit of a lock but what you want to do is fold it back to the original position and then because there's these two gaps here that's the only position where you can flip this to to you know, to that to that more rotated position, and then you rotate these down, so it's facing the front of the vehicle, and then flip flip the wheel bits back in, and and that way the wheels hit the ground, and you have this front, uh, uh, whatever you want to call that, rammer bulldozer. <laughs> it's a funny looking thing. Okay, so there we have it, uh, all three of them in vehicle mode. Um, Right, the rumble mold looks the smallest here actually, it's really compact, but that's I think clearly the weakest, I don't know what that's meant to be, you can't even conceivably name that uh, as some sort of, you know, kind of tank or whatever. Um, that is a lot clearer, that's what, what that's trying to be. And then this also, I guess it's kind of clear it's an aircraft, but it's just an odd looking aircraft. So again, which one's the best one? I have to choose the rumble mode. The rewind rumble mo. This one is second because it, it it does clearly look like a plane. Uh, this one is again the loser. Uh, so who wins? I think you know best robot mode, best uh, uh, vehicle mode, and in best uh, rear side of the PDA mode. I think this one clearly is my favorite. Uh, now which character would I? choose if I had to choose uh, to be the mold. I think Decepticons clearly rumble, the most prominent, most first featured humanoid. Um, Laserbeak, uh, you know, the good old famous Laserbeak, so many iterations of Laserbeak. Uh, and, and Ravage, uh, obviously there's not many competitors for Ravage. For the Autobots, it would be Rewind at this stage for the reasons already mentioned with IDW. Uh, and then I, I, I definitely want Steel Jaw in that mold. Uh, no, no real preference for Autobot Bird. In fact, I can only name one. I can name Sundor, which is not always an Autobot, but uh, really I don't have an Autobot preference. Rewind and Steel Jaw for my Autobots. So there we have it. Uh, my, my take and uh, review and comparison of the Generations Titans Return cassette bots. 
Uh, let me know what you think and uh, thank you again for watching this far. Give us a like if you enjoy the videos and as always I will see you guys next time.